Hi everyone, so this is going to be a what's on my iPhone 6 video. I recently just got the iPhone 6 um, in the color gold with the 64 gigs a couple days ago, so I thought I would show you what I put on my iPhone already. Now before I begin, I want to go ahead and do a quick little comparison of the iPhone 6 to my old phone, which was the iPhone 4S. So the first thing off you can tell is the size different. The iPhone 6 is much, much, big, much, much bigger than the iPhone 4S. It's also a lot thinner as well compared to it. Also, the back looks a little different with the little monogram. It's a little different. Um, the tops are different. The iPhone 4S has the lock button and the headphone jack on the top while the iPhone 6 has nothing. The volume buttons and like the vibrate and silent button is a little different. And on the iPhone 6, it has the lock button on the side instead of the top. And then the bottoms is they use the different connectors and the headphone jack is on the bottom for the 6. Alright, so starting with my lock screen, I have this little quote that says, Nothing worth having comes easy. I love this quote. It's perfect for motivation throughout the day. I also love the iPhone 6 for the Touch ID feature. It's definitely a step up from my 4S. And then on my little, like, lock or dock, I guess I'd call it, I just have the basics. Just phone, mail, safari, and music. And then I just have my messages up there on the very top. And then I have the little help. Um, icon or the new app that's like it monitors how many steps you take, how many stairs you've taken, but I haven't set it up yet, but I will do that soon. But like I said, I just got it, but it, it really is a really cool app. Then I just have my photos. Yes, lots of fashion inspiration and some fun photos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Then I have the camera app, which is basically the whole reason why I upgraded to the iPhone 6 is because of the incredible camera. It has amazing focus and features and just amazing quality, so I absolutely love it. It's perfect for vlogging. And again with the new little features, so there's the panoramic, the square, the photo, video, and then there's the new slow-mo and time-lapse features, which are really, really cool. So definitely going to be playing around with those. And the filters are just the same, nothing new with the filters there. Then I have this folder called Utilities, aka just junk that I don't use. So I have like podcasts like App Store, FaceTime, Maps, and Stocks, and Compass, and just all the randoms. I just throw them in one folder that I call Utilities. Then I have a folder called apps. I know, really basic. So I just have Facebook weather. Let's check out the weather in Vegas. Look at that. It's blistering hot as usual. So yeah, the struggle. <laughs> then I have Google Maps Sleep Cycle, which is a really cool like sleep monitoring app. It monitors like your sleep and it's really, really cool. Then I have my daily horoscope. I am a Taurus. If you're a Taurus, like hoot hoot. So comment down below your zodiac sign or your, yeah. And then I have my Yogurtland app and then a calendar app. Then this next folder is called business. So I just have some YouTube stuff and some Safate stuff. So like editing software and like my bank and PayPal and stuff like that for Safate Jewelry. That's my online jewelry website. And then I have my photography photo, which is all my picture editing stuff. This app called PicFrame is incredible. I love all the different um, frame or collage combinations. It's really simple and really easy to use. So I love that app. Um, then I also have Afterlight, which is incredible because it literally has a gazillion filters. So I absolutely love this. So for example, all these little filter types here. Then I have Photo Wonder, which is a really cool like photo editing app, but I don't know why it keeps crashing like with the iPhone 6, so I don't know what's wrong with it, but I really do like that app. Then there's Rhonda Design, which is really, really cool for like clip art and like designs and shapes and words on your photos, so I really like that for editing sometimes, that's really cool. Then there's Fit Stitch, which you can like stitch together videos and photos into collages. So that's really cool. They also have a lot of options. Then I have text on photo, and then square ready and video ready. Then on my notes, I have like just some quotes and stuff on here. So just motivational stuff I like to look at, um, and other notes, of course, but I'm not going to go through all those. 
Then I have Snapchat. If you want to add me on Snapchat, you can. Um, it's infinitely Cindy. And then I have my clock, which, yeah, my alarms. If you're one of those people that need like a million alarms in the morning, like me, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> then I have my settings and Twitter. If you want to follow me on Twitter, that's also at Infinitely Cindy. Um, I do go on Twitter a lot. And yeah, I go on it more than Snapchat. But yeah, love Twitter. Then my second favorite app is this calendar app. It's called Calendar 5, and it's literally the best calendar ever. I love how you can like plan it down like to the hour, to the minute of things you need to do. So like I'm filming videos like I should be, and then I have to work out, have dinner, watch the blacklist. And you can like flip through the days really, really easily. There's like a week view, a month view, and then again, you just flip through everything. And it's really, really cool. I think it's amazing calendar app um, if you are looking for something like this. It's great for keeping you organized. And then my favorite app, of course, is Instagram. Like if you don't know what Instagram is, then I have no idea where you've been living for the past like five years. But yeah, so Instagram, um, that's infinitely underscore Cindy. So that's my username if you want to follow me on there for, you know, pictures and stuff. But yeah, that is everything that's on my iPhone currently. I am looking for more backgrounds and more apps to add on it. So I'll probably do an updated one later. But this is what my basics are, my go-to apps and things are for my iPhone. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to check out some of my previous videos, you can. I have my fall clothing haul and fall beauty haul here if you want to check those out. But yeah, so I really hope that you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will talk to you in a future video. Bye!